Hi and welcome to this iMindMap 11 tutorial all about mind map view. Starting here on our home screen, I'm going to click on the mind map icon to begin. Here I'm greeted with my central idea gallery, where I'm going to pick a image that most closely represents what my mind map will be about, and hit start. Okay, firstly I'm going to want to name my central idea, so to do that I can just start typing. Hold shift and enter for a new line, and then hit enter when I've finished. If I wanted to reposition this text, it's just a case of sort of grabbing it and placing it where it looks best on the image. So now I want to start drawing branches. So hovering over my central idea, I've got the branch drawing tool here. I'll start by showing you how to draw a standard branch. Click and drag using the red icon. Whilst that branch is selected, you can just type and enter to add text. As you build your mind map, your branch drawing tool will follow you. So now I've got the two options here again. Clicking on the yellow one will give me a box branch. These are good for when you've got a little bit more text. You can use the blue arrows here to click and drag your branch to reposition it. So now I'll continue building on my mind map by adding branches. So I've continued with that branch drawing technique and how my mind map is looking a little bit more full. Next I'm going to show you how to make use of the pop-up edit menu. Start by selecting the branch you want to edit, then click this grey icon to call up your pop-up edit menu. Start in the top left hand corner, this icon when clicked will convert a regular branch to a box branch, like so. If you ever want to convert a box branch to a regular branch, Pop back into your pop-up edit menu and click to convert again. If you want to highlight connections between branches, this icon here will allow you to draw a relationship arrow. Click and move this arrow to wherever it makes most sense and click to drop it. That is now visually highlighting a connection between two branches. If you want to delete it, you click to select it and hit delete on your keyboard. This drag and drop icon, when selected, will allow you to move a branch and its children to another location on your mind map. So we're just clicking the icon. You can see where it is selected because there's a shadow forming and I drop that onto a parent branch and watch it move. When your mind map is getting a little bit full, you may want to collapse some of your smaller branches. Again, we're going back to the pop-up edit menu and clicking this collapse icon. Your child branches will reappear when you click this expand icon. You can also do this from the branch itself by clicking minus plus. So minus to hide and plus to reveal again. This icon will insert a branch before like so. Now as you can see, we've kind of lost the order here a little bit, so what's useful is in the pop-up edit menu you also have this cleanup icon. Click it and it will pull everything back into place again. If you want to draw attention to a specific part of your mind map, you can do so by adding boundaries. Once again, we're back up in the pop-up edit menu and we can click add here, which will insert a cloud-like boundary. Again, if you did want to undo that, you can do it once again from the pop-up edit menu and remove boundary. Mind maps are all about visuals, and so we've put a sketch drawing tool within the pop-up edit menu as well. Clicking this purple icon, you'll be given a drawing box. So from here, you're free to create a drawing that represents whatever it is you're thinking about and whatever you want to connect to that branch. Click the green tick when you're done and click and drag to reposition your image using these anchor points to shrink it if necessary. Back to our pop-up menu, click in the paintbrush tool here and we'll open up your formatting panel. 
Here you have different formatting options including branch art, the ability to change font, to edit the shape of your branch, and to change the cut of your branch or text. You can insert images using the image library by selecting a branch and using our side panel to call up the library and search. Click for the image to be inserted onto your canvas and once again you're able to resize and reposition to the place that most suits you. You can add notes to your mind map by selecting the branch that they'll refer to and then clicking the note icon up here. Within this text box insert any additional information you might have and click to come off it. Now if I zoom in You can see there is now a note icon. Hovering over it will show me what I've written, but clicking on it will allow me to edit it and add more and have a full view of what I've said. When you'd like to make changes across your mind map, hold down Ctrl and A on your keyboard to select every branch. From here, you can go to your design toolbar to play around with the design. Try out different themes, update fonts, and play with colour schemes. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on iMindMap11's Mindmap View. Head over to our YouTube channel for more.